This is the story of an old man and a lion, a fable by Aesop. A person of quality dreamed one night that he saw a lion kill his only son, who was, it seems, a generous cavalier and a great lover of the chance, of the chase. This fancy ran in the father's head to that degree that he built his son a house of pleasure, on purpose to keep him out of harm's way, and spared neither art nor cost to make a delicious retreat. This house, in short, was to be the young man's prison, and the father made himself his keeper. There were a world of paintings, everywhere up and down, and among the rest there was the picture of a lion, which stirred the blood of the young man for the dream's sake, and to think that he should now be a slave for the fancy of such a beast. In this indignation he made a blow blow at the picture, but striking his fist upon the point of a nail in the wall, his hand cancerated. He fell into a fever, and soon after died, so that all the father's precaution could not secure the son from the fatality of dying by a lion. The Moral A body may as well lay too little as too much stress upon a dream, for some dreams are monetary, as others are complexional. But upon the main, the less we heed them, the better. For when that freak has once taken possession of the fantastical head, the distemper is incurable. The Reflection Tis to no purpose to think of preventing or diverting fatalities, especially where the event looks like the punishment of a superstition, as it fares with those that govern their lives by forebodings and dreams, or the signs of ill luck, as we used to say. They are still anxious and uneasy. History is full of examples to illustrate the doctrine of this fable. The father was to blame for laying so much stress upon a foolish dream, and the son was little less to blame for being so much transported at the impression of that fancy of the father. But they were both justly punished, however, the one for his passion and the other for his superstition. Good night, everybody.